me now. Maryland Democratic Congressman Anthony Brown. Uh, Congressman Brown, do we have you now? Hey, I'm Ex on with you this morning. Excellent, Joy. excellent, excellent. We had a little bit of technical difficulties earlier. We appreciate you coming back. Uh, uh, can you just give me your reaction to listening to a United States senator who has been urging Donald Trump to use emergency powers that would essentially sideline his own branch of government, uh, say, Look, let the, the hostages the, go for three weeks and then take them again? The, the only thing I agree with in what he said is, the president ought to open up the federal government now. We should not be negotiating or discussing border security, because that's what President Trump's uh, call for a border wall is. It's part of a larger conversation on border security. We shouldn't be doing that in the context of a government shutdown. Open the government. Uh, workers at the Agriculture Department, the Interior Department, the IRS, they have very little, if anything, to do uh, with border security. So open up those agencies and then let's have a comprehensive discussion about how we fix our immigration system, including border security. We understand from the Baltimore Sun, uh, right there in your home state of Maryland, that you folks in Congress have approved uh, back pay for federal workers, but once the government is reopened, uh, you also have the Maryland unemployment insurance requests now um, topping 2,550 uh, applications related to the shutdown through Thursday, can, and more than double a week earlier. How is this shutdown playing out in your district? I know you have a lot of federal workers uh, in the state. Um, what about your district? Major impact. I have the fifth largest number of federal government employees. Yesterday, I had a town hall meeting. The room was packed. I heard from federal government employees, contractors. I also heard from small businesses in the community that are being impacted. Retail, uh, restaurants, services, um, where we have employees, federal employees and contractors who cannot spend money. They can't spend it on child care. They're cutting back, yes, on groceries and prescription drugs. Uh, this is having a real impact. Uh, the fact that we now have retroactive pay, not only for this shutdown, but God forbid if there's another one under this president, that gives only minor consolation and comfort to federal government employees. They need their money now. They, they, they need their paycheck now. Uh, and that's what the president has to do. The ball's in his, not only is, is it in his court, the ball's in his hands. Well, that's uh, he can open up government now. At any time. And, and the, the House of Representatives, in which you serve, has already voted multiple times, multiple bills to reopen the government. There's not, much, there's not more that the House can do uh, in terms of that. What do your Republican colleagues say to you behind the scenes, if anything? How do they justify hurting this many people over a thing that cannot and will not be done. There isn't going to be a wall across the southern border. I think most Americans kind of figure that out. Even Trump supporters, maybe some of them have. What, how do they justify it? Sure, sure. Most of them are embarrassment, uh, embarrassed. And quite frankly, the typical encounter is we walk on the elevator together uh, and they start looking down at their, at their shoes because there's very little for them to say uh, to justify. Uh, the Trump shutdown and to justify their vote in the House to reject essentially the bipartisan bill uh, that came over from the Senate that would have opened up the government. It had $1.3 billion uh, for border security. Uh, they're embarrassed, and as a result, they're, they're silent, and as a result, they are simply enabling the president. Yeah, they're embarrassed, but not embarrassed enough to open up the government again and let people get their paychecks and get their bills paid. It's pretty extraordinary. Congressman uh, Anthony Brown, thank you so much for making some time for us this morning. Thank you, Joy. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Coming up, Trump was asked if he was a Russian agent. His response?